Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Alex Maragos. Topping our newscast today, U.S. Senator Dan Coats joins us live by phone from Washington, D.C. Senator Coats, thank you for being here this afternoon. Uh, good afternoon to you. Uh, Senator, $5 billion worth of food stamps are being cut today across the country. A part of those cuts will affect 17,000 people right here in Tippecanoe County alone. So how does Congress view the future of the SNAP program? Look, uh, the, the federal government has always, uh, together with the states, uh, cooperated in terms of reaching out to people who are truly in need of support. What's happened with a, a lot of these mandatory problems, uh, uh, programs, however, is that uh, people have been taking advantage of that and signing up when they either have falsified uh, their, their financial status uh, or uh, there's just been a lot of duplication, waste, and fraud uh, in the program. So what these cuts are intended to do is, is to make the program more effective and efficient in terms of reaching the people that truly qualify uh, for this support. Uh, but eliminating a lot of this shockingly in shocking increase in the uh, uh, food stamp sign-up program uh, right. that has cost us billions and billions and billions of dollars, and only to find out that people who oh. are getting these are are not eligible. So that's you know if you can't come to Washington and make things more efficient and more effective, uh, then we've got a real problem because we have a runaway budget problem here that we have to address. We don't want to ignore the fact that some people truly need help, but right, there's Senator, been a lot of abuses in this program. Uh, Senator, also a lot of news has been made this week about the NSA's foreign surveillance practices. You sit on the Senate Select Intelligence Committee. Do you feel that there has been adequate oversight of the NSA? Uh, all we do is oversight practically lately these days, and there is very uh, uh, vigorous uh, oversight of these programs. Having said that, uh, we're going to do even more. We just passed legislation yesterday in the Intelligence Committee uh, that puts uh, additional uh, responsibilities and authority in our hands uh, to uh, oversee these programs. It builds in also executive oversight on this. We're trying to find this right balance where we guarantee people their privacy, but yet have the opportunity to deal with uh, uh, intelligence intercepts uh, between uh, foreigners uh, in some of these dangerous areas that are on the list of known terrorists and talking to people either here or overseas and we're trying we're trying to say then at that point if we suspect something uh, we have to go to a court and get a court authority it's like it's like a warrant uh, to then pursue that further now, Senator, uh, let's talk about that balance. Have... Let's talk about that balance, if you don't mind, between privacy and security. Where is that line in the Congress's eyes? Well, that line is to protect Americans' of privacy, and if Americans are not talking to a known terrorist overseas, no one is listening to their calls. And on the other hand, we want to ensure that there's no abuse of this program and no misuse and mistakes of this program. So far, uh, this has not happened, and we have to ensure that it doesn't happen because Americans' privacy uh, is guaranteed under the Constitution, and we want to keep it that way unless they're up to something really, really bad. Okay, Senator, let's move to the Affordable Care Act. We've now heard from uh, Secretary Kathleen Sebelius as well as the website's design team. So in all the testimony this week, what's the biggest takeaway that you found? Well, the biggest takeaway I found this week is that the blame is being placed at the wrong place. I mean, the blame ought to go to the president. It's called Obamacare, after all. Kathleen Sebelius wasn't even uh, in office at the time this thing was passed. Uh, she says, well, put all the responsibility on me. Uh, that just gives the president a free pass. You know, whether it's Benghazi, and it's not my fault, I didn't know anything about it, whether it's IRS, oh, I didn't know anything about this, says the president, or whether it's failure of the rollout on Obamacare. Uh, the buck does not stop at the White House. Uh, the finger points at somebody else. This is another Susan Rice situation uh, where she gets blamed uh, for Benghazi, uh, and the president says, oh, I was totally out of the loop on that. All right, well, Senator, we, uh, we appreciate you uh, joining us today uh, very much. That's Senator Dan Coats from Indiana.